What's up guys, I'm back with another tip on how to save money. This one's a little different because you actually have to spend some money to save some money. Just kind of uh, counterproductive, but you know, if you're going to buy something and you have uh, a lot of stubble, a lot of beard, a lot of things to trim. Um, I used to have a Remington and it used to break all the time. It was cheaper, but I researched this and found that it's it's pretty awesome. I've had this one for three years. It's a bronze series seven and uh, it's got the cleaning uh, fluid and so it can self clean. Um, but there's a couple tips that I wanted to tell you guys about when you buy this, how to keep it like in really good condition, but also you don't have to spend that much money. This one I've had for three years and four months. So you'll get an actual like for real review of someone who's been using it. I use it every day. This is the same head that I bought that's three years old. Um, I had to replace the other one on the Remington like a few times. It's never cut me, never scratched me. Um, some of the other ones, the last one I had, it would break, the foil thing would break. And it actually drew blood like a few times. Um, the other good thing about this is I read on the, I'm going to link it in, in the description below, but there's, um, somebody told me that you can, or I read online that you can use these only every once in a while. If you, if you leave this thing open, you know, you put it in there, you press it down, you leave it in there, it will evaporate. So what I do is I use it maybe every three days and I have, as you can see with my arms, yeah, I have a lot of hair, so. A lot of hair in my face. So, so what I do is I'll show it, show it to you. I stick it in there, run it, and you push it down, run it, and then when I'm done, I take it out, cap it, and I just leave it in there. I've had this three years. This is the little like replacing things. I got this at uh, online or at a retail store. They're like 13, 14, 15 bucks. I've bought probably of each individual one in the last three and a half years maybe 12 of them. So that's like, I don't know, 15 bucks times four, times three, four, yeah, that's math. Three times four is 12. Not that much money. This thing I have had to buy nothing. Uh, I'll tell you the good about it and the little problems. This thing, one time, you know, this is to trim your, your the corners or whatever, you know, whatever you wanna call them, the corners of your face the um, little parts you can't get to. Um, this broke on me. I had to pay, I think there was like a two year warranty. It was like two years and six months. I had to pay 43 bucks to replace it. That sucks. So watch out for that. They did tell me a really good trick though. Uh, this thing was getting like really clogged up. You can see down in there, that little hole. It was actually full of dirt. Well, I mean hair really. So what they said to do when you get this, because this thing's expensive, it's like 250 bucks or something. I got it on online for like 220. Um, but like I say, you know, the cost of your razor is just added up over the course of your lifetime. You can divide this by three years, and I mean it's like dollars per month that I've been using this. Again, someone will correct me on the math, but it's really cheap to use, adding all the stuff I paid for it and the quickness and I don't have to, you, I hate razors anyways, like, um, you know, the little razor blades, but, um, yeah. So what they told me was every time you use this, uh, you can just run it under the water. You know, it just, you know, you just shake it out. It's no big deal. What I do is I, after I do it, I use this brush. Every time I do it, I just bang out all the stuff, and in here, sorry for the crappy lighting, I just, I clean out everything in here, all of the, all the shavings every time, so I keep good care of it. And then what you do is when you, when you click this thing in, it basically has, you've removed most of the hair trimmings, so when you pop it in here, and you go to clean it, it's gonna clean 
everything else that's left in it and these things will last a lot longer and when you're doing the trick where you you don't leave it out this thing will last for a long time um, and then this thing will get even more clean and this thing won't get clogged because when this thing gets clogged uh, this won't get clean and what happens is the water instead of going through that little hole down there it, it builds up and it starts wearing on this stuff wears it off that's how you got that the other issue one time you know these two things when you sit it in there it connects to these two things which when you plug it in it charges it so what happened was it wasn't getting a connection like at all I thought I was gonna have to buy a brand new one uh, of this which probably means you're gonna have to buy the whole thing what I did was I took um, I took this rubbing alcohol uh, and a q-tip and I basically just took the q-tip and the alcohol and I just started I started going at these things and it ended up working um, I mean you can try that however you want if it ever happens to you but it just it started one one week I kept doing that whenever it would do it I thought it was the the plug but it wasn't and then it just started working so it works fine now so this is what I use now I, I don't mind paying higher for items if the cost of, of maintaining them and owning them is gonna be really low or if you like pay a lot of money for something you know a normal item that you pay a high amount of money but you never have to pay for a replacement or anything again which is pretty much hard to come by now because everything is made pretty cheaply um, disposable but you know I like to take care of items that's why I'm gonna do a lot more videos on how to save money different things that, that I do and then I, I, I'd love to get your comments back how you do it because I won't I like living frugally and I like keeping most of the money I earn I mean who doesn't so hopefully I'm not leaving a lot of stuff out I can't tell you how long I've had this I have probably two left in here yeah there's two left I probably bought this three pack at least two two months ago most of the time you can just wash it with water, which it allows you. I mean, you're not going to wash this thing. You just wash. I don't, I don't ever really put it in there. I take the thing off. And so you got to figure 365 days times more than three for three years. I've been taking this thing on and off. I'm, I pretty much shave every day. Maybe one day I'll, I won't, but at least I'll shave the, you know, under my chin. But, um... It's freaking really durable. And that last one, I think I had a Norelco too. And they just suck. The ones with the like the three circles. And they're supposed to spin and then the head moves a little bit. They suck. I, I kept every like 90 days or six months, I'd send it back. They'd send me a new one. I'd do the same thing. I'd have to buy the heads for 30 bucks. And this thing, I've only spent 43 bucks on that. And I've spent, you know, 12, 15 bucks for these replacements maybe every nine months so I think if you bought a razor you're buying those disposable ones or even if you have a normal one I'd love to find out what you do because I'm sure there's probably a cheaper way that you've done it that I I need to know about um, so I'd love to see your posts or whatever and um, uh, that's about it um, this is the best razor I've had in my life and three years and a few months it's pretty dang good for something like this where barely anything has I've had to pay to replace this thing was probably a fluke 43 bucks found an authorized repair if it's within two years they will repair it for free I didn't really want to do the the swap out uh, you know buy one you know gotta keep it keep it legit and um, everything else 
you know, just try to treat it as, you know, this is just plastic. Just treat it as delicate as possible. I've taken this on the road. It comes with this other... This is this carrying case deal. You know, just protect my investment. And then you protect your investment, it'll it'll protect you. You know, you take good care of it, it'll take good care of you. It's got a brush in there, but I didn't like that brush. I used the one because I shaved my head too, with like a, one of those wall professional ones. Maybe I'll do a video on that. And I just use this, I just I just brush it out of there, rinse it under the sink, pop it in here, open this thing, press start. Probably 15, 20 minutes later, it's clean. Press that button. Put this bad boy back on. That's it. Kind of expensive to get into it, but it'll treat you good for the long run. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Peace out.